In this Photoshop tutorial, we'll learn how to create a funny 3D pop-up photo effect, similar to a children's comic book, where the main subject of your photo appears to be standing above a flat image. This is the photo I will be using for. And this is the final result of the work. First, make two copies of the background layer just by hitting Ctrl and J in Windows or Command and J in Macintosh. By default, Photoshop names the new layers as Layer 1, Layer 1 copy and so on. Here, let's name the first copy, Layer 1, as flat and the second copy as pop-up to be easy to understand. Now, turn off the visibility of the two new layers flat and pop-up by clicking the eye icon beside each layer. Click on the background layer to make it active. Once selected, the layer turns blue to show that it's active. Move the cursor to the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel and click it to bring a pop-up box and select Gradient from the list. Click on the Gradient Preview bar at the top of the dialog box to edit the gradient. This opens a Gradient Editor panel with lot of gradient presets. In this, we have to select the third one from the left. To edit the gradient, double-click on the left color stop which brings the color picker window. Pick a color lighter than black suggestively gray. I just type 929292 in the color code box to pick the default gray. And then close all the windows. Now select and turn on the visibility of the flat layer and now the photo is visible as the flat layer is lying above the gradient fill layer. Pick the rectangular marquee tool from the tools bar or just hit M on keyboard and roughly draw a selection covering our main subject. Go up to the select menu in the top and click transform selection command which brings the transformation control boxes around the selection. Now right-click the mouse if in Windows or Control click in Mac while within the selection and select Perspective from the list. Drag the top corner handles inwards and the bottom corner handles outwards as we are going to make it a 3D perspective. It is enough to draw any one of the sides as the handle on the other side automatically moves along with it. Now again right-click or Command click and switch to Scale mode. Then drag the handles to adjust according to your image. Ensure that some area at the top of the image stays outside the selection area which brings the pop-up appearance. And after all hit enter or return in Mac to exit from transform command. With our selection in place over the flat layer, just hit the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. This hides the rest of the selected area. To make it more attractive, Let's give a border to the image. To do so, just click on the Add a Layer Style icon on the bottom of the Layers panel and choose Stroke from the list. In the Layer Style dialog box, select a size for the border. Here I am setting it to 15 pixels, the position to inside and the fill color to white to give a real photograph appearance. Click OK when you are done. Now select and turn on the pop-up layer and make a selection around the main subject with any of the selection tools available in the tools bar. You can use any one in which you are familiar with. But I'll carry on with the pen tool which is the best of all to get a good quality of smooth cut. As it takes much time, I speed up the process to consume time. But no matter to the area where the flat layer is covered with. While using pen tool, it creates paths instead of selection outlines. So, right mouse click and select make selection. And the feather radiance to 0.5 pixels. Then hit the layer mask icon. Now the pop-up is visible for the photograph. To give a natural look, let's curl the corners and give a shadow effect. Select the flat layer and hold Ctrl or Command and click the layer mask so that Photoshop makes a selection around the masked area. As our flat layer is in selected position, hold Ctrl or Command button and click on the new layer icon so that Photoshop creates a new layer below the selected layer. 
Now name it a shadow and go to edit menu and select fill command. Use black color and make sure blending mode is normal and opacity is 100%. Then hit OK. Select the layer mask and unlink it from its layer. Go up to the edit menu at the top of the screen, choose transform, then choose warp. Drag the four corner points upward to curl the corners and hit enter or return. Select the shadow layer go up to the filter menu at the top of the screen, choose blur, then choose Gaussian blur. In the dialog box, set the radius to 10 pixels or whatever appearance suits your image and close by hitting OK. Lower the opacity to around 60%. Go up to the edit menu and choose free transform. Drag the handles to adjust the shadow so as to perfectly suit the photo. At last, double click on the gradient fill layers thumbnail in the layers panel. As we learned in the beginning, click on the gradient preview bar to bring up the gradient editor. Double click on the left color stop and pick a color from the original picture to combine with the background and hit OK. So, this is the final image we obtained. And here's the original photograph for comparison. Thanks for watching and click subscribe.